It's sometimes lost on me that I get to call God, who is the king of the universe, Father. I mean, this is God we're talking about. He hung the stars in the sky, put a border around water and called the dry place land, creator of everything. And he desires to be my father. The truth is he desires to be a father to us all. But you know what I think the greatest thing about being in the family of God is? It's the fact that none of us have to be born in. Whoever places their faith in Jesus is automatically adopted in, which makes us brothers and sisters in Christ, not by blood, but by faith. Paul writes it this way. The spirit you received does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship and by him we cry out, Abba, Father. By placing our faith in Jesus, we get to be sons and daughters of God. And contrary to how some believe, as the family of God, our relationship with him isn't characterized by fear or bondage. It's characterized by a deep, intimate, and joyful relationship that causes us to call him one of the most endearing terms known to man. Father. Now, I know for a lot of people, the idea of God being a father doesn't sound compelling because of poor earthly examples we may have experienced. But if you take God up on his offer to accept him into your life, he'll show you day by day a true example of a good, strong, loving, gentle, and perfect father. That's who he wants to be in your life.